Um, so what we're doing today is we're going to show you the whole process of the platelet-rich plasma, which is a brand new treatment we're introducing here. Um, also known as the vampire facelift, which you uh, have seen probably recently uh, in the press, um, done by Kim Kardashian. Um, so I'm very excited about it, a little bit nervous as well. The reason I'm having this treatment done is so that we can record it for you and show you um, the step-by-step -step procedure. And also you can meet Oren, our, e our ENT surgeon, who actually performs the treatment and the procedure for us. Uh, also gives me the insights to be able to describe the experience to customers um, when you're inquiring about it. So uh, stay tuned and uh, watch the whole video. Thank you. Hi everyone. So I thought you might be interested to know um, how I look and how I feel the day after my PRP um, treatment. Um, I must say yesterday after the treatment um, I was really really swollen more than I thought I would be on my face. Um, not so sore because I still had the uh, anaesthetic um, in, my, in my face so uh, I was quite numb in fact. Uh, so that it wasn't painful. Um, overnight, um, the swelling's gone down by, I would say, a good 60%, maybe slightly more, between 60 and 70%. Um, but I'm still swollen around my eyes and the eye area, um, and perhaps in the cheeks a little bit. But again, not so much swollen as you can see, um, red. I look like I've got sunburn, <laughs> so I won't be going anywhere today. Um, worth bearing that in mind, I would say. So if you're going to have this treatment done, um, a great idea would be to have it done on a Friday afternoon. And uh, and then you've got Saturday and Sunday to recover, assuming you're not working. And then you should be all back to normal on Monday um, when you go into work. Hopefully nobody will know. Um, you're not supposed to put any makeup or uh, on your face for 48 hours afterwards. So... Uh, again, you can't really disguise it the next day, so really, um, you know, pay attention to the aftercare um, to make sure that you maximise your results and also, you know, don't create any issues um, putting things uh, onto your skin when your skin um, is clearly, you know, through the microneedling um, part of the treatment, you know, scratched the surface of your skin and, and therefore kind of made it slightly more prone. Um, so to, uh, you know, I don't know, inflammation or something like that. So keep your skin clean. Um, you can put a barrier cream on. We provide the barrier cream for you after you've had the treatment. So again, that's, that just kind of nourishes and moisturizes your skin because um, it does feel quite tight. Um, some of that, I guess, is the swelling effect. Um, or maybe it's all the swelling effect. I don't really know, but and that's how it feels for me okay so but we'll give you the uh, the recovery balm after the treatment so you can use that um, for kind of three or four days afterwards and that that helps okay um, I do use um, oh you must use an SPF um, obviously if you're not going outside not to worry um, if you are planning on going out after the treatment um, then you must use a very good SPF again just to put that barrier on your skin um, much of skin pills you have to protect your skin straight after this treatment. Okay, so I use an Illumia um, versatile tint. And what I will do is I'll, I'll go and put some on now and then I'll show you. So hopefully, if you do need to go out <laughs> for an emergency, um, you can um, pop some of that on and uh, maybe slightly tone down the redness. Okay, thanks and uh, stay tuned. I'll be taking pictures every day uh, until it's completely calmed down and then uh, I'll do regular updates so that you can see the progress and the results. Okay, thanks, bye.